Hello everyone. We are going to cover the basics of motion capture workflow between Blender, Character Creator 4, and iClone 8. More specifically, we are exporting from Blender, rigging in CC4, applying motion capture in iClone 8, and once finished, we will send the character back to Blender for rendering. The rendering engine we are using is Octane, but the general workflow applies regardless of the render engine you use. We'll start by loading a character. In this example, I'm using a single mesh, but you can export multiple mesh parts for rigging. When you are in Character Creator, just make sure you select all the mesh before you bind the character to the meshes. With your character selected, we will export it as an FBX. OBJs can also be used if you prefer that. Save the file and give it a proper name. Now, start up Character Creator 4. When you import the character mesh into CC4, use props instead of character. With the character option, it will expect a rig. After importing your character into CC4, we will map the albedo texture. This is so I'm not staring at a white mesh all day. Save the file, and remember to do this often. It's time to start rigging. We are going to activate AccuRig, which is similar to Mixamo and even AutoRig Pro, where you place dots at joints to set up your skeleton. Select your character and click Create Guides. I'm going to activate the orthogonal view to remove any perspective. Now you'll see a bunch of dots and a reference thumbnail in the upper right corner. Depending on what dot you select, the reference thumbnail will change to show you where to place the dots. You can start in any order you like. For the knees, I'm going to activate wireframe mode in the scene editor. This will help me identify where the knees should be bending. We are looking for narrow bands of polygons where the knees will bend nicely. Once you are happy with the dot placement, click Generate Skeleton. The system will try to detect your fingers and place finger bones for you, but you should double check it and make any adjustments. When moving the base joint of the thumb, you can see that the joint is jumping within the volume of the hand area. This is because midpoint placement is checked. Unchecking it will give you full manual control over placement. Place the joints for the rest of your hands. You might want to reactivate midpoint placement for the joints of the fingers. The thumb is the only bone that has a rotation gizmo to help orient its position. Rotate it correctly so that the arrow points upward from the thumb.
This character has no detectable toes, so no toes were created. When you are happy with the joint placement, we will now bind the skin to the skeleton. Click Bind Skin. This will automatically create a weight map to bind your mesh to the skeleton. Now we can test the character with some test animation built into Character Creator 4. Notice the mask is not correctly weighted to the head. There's a few included animations that test the full body or specific parts of the body. After you are done, save the file. This is the end of part 1. In part 2 of the video, we will look at correcting the weight map of the mask, applying motion capture in iClone, and exporting back to Blender for rendering. Thank you, and see you in the next video!